Hey guys, welcome to episode three of Popping for a Chat with myself and the wonderful Pop Tart Lee. Today we have an awesome guest. Now, I would say it's a first for my channel. I know it's definitely not for yours, Lee. I know you've gone international recently, but this is the first <laughs> <Yeah>. time <laughs> I've had an international guest. Uh, superstar, he's asked for a rider. He's got his entourage in the background, all this kind of stuff. But oh, yeah, he's, he's awesome guy coming to join us. That I, I don't know if you're the same as me, Lee. I feel like a bit of a fanboy. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm really excited by this one. And that's no no disrespect to Tell or to Scarlett. But yeah, yeah, I'm excited to just have a chat with this guy. I'm really looking forward to this one. So this is fun. The, the, the best part is, is I, I did a, a live last night and two people were like, I know who the guest is for the next episode. So it's it's slowly leaked, it would appear. Uh, but um, Is that me? I don't know if that's me. I don't, uh, I don't know. So. I think it might be the guest has told someone uh -oh. that he's, he's yeah, going to be okay. on it, which again, is no problem because I kind of no. like that. <laughs> no, cool. So I, I think what we'll do is just to, to save him waiting any longer, we'll just welcome him yeah, into, yeah. into the... So for anyone that doesn't know who we're talking about, it is the one and only Dave from Dave's Dungeon. Woo! Dave! There he is, I'm a cheeky fag. He's there. Hello! How are you doing? He's connecting to audio. You can't hear us yet. We I don't know, do you see that? You're saying at the bottom, it says for me, it's currently connecting to audio. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're muted, Dave. You're muted. How do you unmute? Let me figure this out. Uh, can, uh, I can you hear me now? Hey! Hey, now. Yeah. Morning. Hey. How are you, Dave? Not ready for this, clearly. <laughs> I, I knew this. I knew this was going to happen, too. Oh, honestly, man, don't worry about it. I'm going around with this right from the start. Thank you for bearing with us while we, me and Lee, sit and just chat shit before we invite people in. Yeah, and you can uh, edit this out or use it. I don't care. I'm not where I'm supposed to be yet, but uh, I'm in the garage. Oh, nice. For me, Dave, every second we've got you, you're staying up. With, I'm, I don't want you edited out at all, mate. I want every single. Well, do you know? I, I completed this. I actually, <laughs> oh, if, oh boy. If we can keep the episode length <laughs> reasonable. I might just keep it pretty much unedited Dave, right? Unless he strips off and runs around. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to yeah, try and keep happen. this as true as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean, whatever you want to do, man. Uh, I'll be, I'll get into my spot eventually here, but. Um, How big I is your garage? Backwards. I think this is backwards too, which I hate. So when you go left, it goes right? Yeah, this is backwards, right? Oh, no, no, I can read that. So on my screen, I see that says Mountain Dew. Yeah, it says Mountain Dew oh, for me. So this for you backwards. and your preview, it will be backwards. But for right. purposes, it's it's the right way. So it, it'll mess with your mind, but not ours. Well, that's good because it's a big pet peeve of mine to see videos that are backwards. Yeah. I mean, it's like people are showing stuff off and it's like, I can't read that, bro. It's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I, want to, I want to ask you a quick question, Dave. How big is this garage that you're in? It's like the size of my house. Uh, it holds two cars. Wow! I'm just oh, turning around. I'm 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 pacing. Oh, I thought I thought you were going to where you were going. Yeah, I thought you were going somewhere. I thought you were <laughs> taking me to the dungeon. No. I tend to pace if I'm on a phone call, which is why I should go get in my spot and uh, okay stop yeah. wandering around here. I do the same. I go out, my, my garden's outside. I just, I just go straight. Out. I'm in a shed. I go out in my shed and my gardens, there and I wander around the garden, and the dog just chases me about. Yeah, we got animals too. You know that. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. I, I don't think we've I love that. I love on your channel. That's, it sounds stupid because obviously your channel is all about the phone calls and everything. But I love at the start of your channel when you've always got one of the cats with you. Uh, it's like, oh, which uh, cat? Nice. I even call I call Mayo over sometimes. And say, look, he's got Dave's got his cat, <laughs> and she loves it. So it's it's a really nice touch that you put that in at the start. I really enjoy that. I, I reckon you should do a cat cam, Dave. I don't know if you've ever seen these. But it's like uh, no. I'm just rigging up some cameras and it's just their cats doing whatever cats do. Uh, and, and you'll get people that will watch that. I would watch it, if I'm honest. Uh, but I, I love that kind of stuff. I love, yeah, it's you come for the Funkos, but you stay for the cats, right? It's kind of turned into a thing now. I just I just do an intro with a cat and uh, go from there. I was doing, I was I did bloopers a couple of times, but those are kind of hard to put together. 
So just grabbing the nearest cat and recording has been working out. <laughs> it works for me. I love it, Dave. I, honestly, I'm I'm quite giddy at the moment just sitting chatting to you because I, I know I put in the comments, but I don't think you realize how much people are enjoying the dungeon. I, yeah. I spoke to Fuzzy Dunlop yesterday for a little bit and we were talking about you and just how much we enjoy what you put out. I don't think you realize just how engaging and how... I, I sit, I get a cup of tea and I put Dave's dungeon on. I, I'm, it's just, I really, really enjoy it. So fair play to you, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. I, I appreciate that, Lee. Seriously, man, that means a lot. We, we, we were, we were you, chatting. You know how it is. Yeah. You, put, you put your videos out and you don't know really who's watching, how many people are watching, and to hear it firsthand that you really do get a kick out of it, you know, that, that means a lot to me, so... We were chatting just before we, we brought you in, Dave, and, and I, we were just kind of saying how we're, we're both total fanboys. So we were like <laughs> quite quite excited that we, we had you on for a show. So yeah, I, I would totally agree with uh, everything Lee's just said there as well. That it's it's kind of like one of the highlight videos that I watch. That don't get me wrong, I've got a lot of time for a lot of YouTubers, but yours is one of the ones that as soon as it drops in, I, I need to make sure I've got time to watch it. I, I know I've yeah. said to you before, I, I love that kind of mall hunt kind of aspect part of it is pure envy uh the the other part is just the sheer collection and banter that you get as you kind of run through your stuff is awesome yeah definitely. appreciate it man i mean you seem appreciate to it. as well there's a there's there's a lot obviously there's a lot of channels everywhere but you do seem to be one of the ones as well who's kind of you've made your way into the uk community as well a lot of the, a lot of the uk youtubers we kind of chat amongst themselves and everyone seems to have found the dungeon and I think that's down to you you seem to make a big effort as well to, to contribute to everyone else's channels watch the videos I mean I, I'm, sometimes I get videos and I've got oh, I've got four comments already and they're all you <laughs> because you can tell you you're generally watching our videos and enjoying it so it's, it's there's you it's and the, um, right? other guy as well who it's really nice to have you guys as part of the community because like I said it's, we're different worlds I mean especially at the moment you guys can go hunting and stuff like that we, me and Ali are just locked in at the moment. Toy shops are shut. We can do nothing. So it's 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 nice to see the other side of it. I mean, I know you you when you did the Walmart on yesterday. I was desperate to see the back to there's some like Back to the Future figures next time you go yeah, to Walmart. Yeah, and, 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 and I blew, figures, I blew and by all of it. Yeah, I know. I was like, how dare you, on, do that monster? <laughs> I'll never, I'll never, I'll never do that again, man. <laughs> never blow by the BTTF section again. We'll all be wondering why Dave's dungeon's gone up to being like an hour and a half long. And it's because you've got everyone like, no, no, no. You missed those Dragon Ball Z figures. Can you go yeah. back? <laughs> uh, but wait, I want to see Mickey Mouse ears. Like, what are you doing, Dave? Come on, get a grip, man. Uh, yeah, you, you, you'll end up just, you'd be better just live streaming it. And we can say, hey, next dial, Dave, next dial. Show me the Legos. Yeah, yeah that, that might work. <laughs> no, I, I literally had three Stop people... It. Three people give me crap for not showing the Back to the Future stuff. Lee was not the only one. So oh, I didn't give you crap. I didn't. Give, I was just. Oh, I no, really I mean, to I, you guys that. are right, though. You guys are right. I'm like showing these stupid uh, plushies, but I'm not showing, um, you know, Back to the Future T T combo that's sitting right there. So you know, my mistake. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> it's been noted. Give me a second. Cool. <laughs> Oh, I, I want a tour. I want a tour of the dungeon. <laughs> I thought we were going to the dungeon. Oh, we got. I think we, I think we might. All right, be. I'm gonna head inside. Yeah. Yeah. If, cool. if we lose you, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, what your like Wi-Fi everything's like, but don't worry. I'll, I'll get you straight back in if you vanish, man. Well, out of curiosity, what what time is it with you? Oh. Uh. Oh, I don't think he hears me. No. I want to know what time of the day it is for him. I think, I think it's he's got to be dark. It looked dark. I, I thought you were seven. I can, I can hear you. I can hear you guys. It's oh, you can. Quarter after, okay. Quarter after six here. Wow. So when you were messaging oh, me, it would have been like quarter past four. Or five hours then. So I just I just went into the dungeon. Um, you can see some of the chaos behind me. Wow. Stuff, stuff wow. that you don't usually stuff that you don't usually see. Like this is what I call my mount, uh, my Marvel mountain. I haven't. It needs to be organized. It's just all my Marvel pops in a pile. Oh, but I mean, wow. this is the room. This is the room here. It's just stuff everywhere. It's like Aladdin's cave. And this is just one room. I've got stuff uh, spread all throughout the basement here. 
Look at you with this your fancy lights as well. This is my spot over here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, give me a second here. Grab a stack of pops to prop it up with. I got to take this thing off my phone first. Try not to turn the damn phone off. <laughs> I should have put this on the computer. I should have put this on I feel the like PC. I should have a hat on. I've just noticed I'm like the only one without a hat. I didn't yeah, get the dress. You've got a haircut though. Like, I, well, I, I, I don't wear a hat. That's my hair at the moment. With this I, I COVID thing. My, my, my one hat that I've got out here that I could put on, but I won't bother. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Now we're in the dungeon. I feel like I should have just hidden us for this video's purposely and we could just be talking to Dave and it could be full screen Dave, uh, especially when he was cutting through the dungeon. Oh, and we've got Groot here with us as well. I got a little Groot. I got, I got this Groot. He's always nearby. These, these are your, your Kim references, right? Yeah, they were. This Groot, this Groot here isn't even a, I don't know what this thing is. It was super cheap. But it's like one of my favorites. Oh, is it like a, a, I would call it a knockoff, but is it a bootleg type thing? Well, it's official merchandise, but oh, okay. it's just not, it's not Hasbro or Funko or. I it's it's not a, a, a Dave's Dungeon original that you've quickly crafted. That would be impressive, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I want to see if I can. Uh... It's good. I like that. <laughs> okay. You happy? Uh, yeah, I got the. I, I have my out. See, I'm not ready for this, man. I was gonna be. I was. I had this plan to be all prepared, and be right here, ready to go. This is only taking what 15 minutes to get to this point. Oh, don't, so don't worry, honestly, man. Uh, half, half. What, half, what half, you remember, Dave? Um, this I, is this is my, this is me and Ali. So we're never organized. So don't ever worry. I know your your stuff. We literally just. I'm sat in the conservatory. He's sat in his shed, and we just plop the camera on and. Yeah, oh, chat, you got it, chat shit essentially. So don't worry about being planned in, mate. This is this is this is good, mate. This is fine. I know, I know you normally theme your stuff, Dave, as well. So yeah, don't panic. I brought Carmelo to hang out for a minute. I got the uh, Star Wars T-shirt on that I sent Fuzzy Dunlop right here. N not He's not got the same one, right? You haven't yeah, exact really same one. Except he got it back from Banff. He's smaller than I am, apparently. I've I've never seen Fuzzy, so I couldn't tell you. No, well, I, I think he's... he said a medium or a large would work. So I mean, maybe we should start a campaign to get Fuzzy to create his own YouTube content. So in turn, we can leave him huge, huge comments that go off on a tangent. Right. I've tried to get him on Funko. I've said to him, "Come on, you don't need to be a YouTuber. Come on." And he's like, "No, <laughs> no, I'm not doing it." I call maybe Fuzzy's one comments. Night. Uh, I call his comments novellas or novellas. They're like short novels. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be able to commit some time to reading them as well, though, right? We did talk him into uh, joining IG, so that was a step. Yeah, yeah, he's on that. He's all over it. He's, he's uh, all over it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look. Give away King. Crown my fool. I think Fuzzy's well, going to take over. I don't know. You could, this, this is where a teaser comes out. So I, I did my live... Uh, for my giveaway last night, and Fuzzy didn't win. A guy, Rodders, I think you would have seen this, Lee. Rodders won. Yeah, yeah, I know. Really. Rodders has donated his win to Fuzzy. So technically, oh, okay. Fuzzy's won. Uh, and, and he messaged me, and he was like, I don't know if this is real or not. Have, have I technically won your giveaway? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I've won three or four in a week. So I reckon I reckon Wayne's crown's starting to fall. Yeah, he, Let's he, hope so. He's won, he's won five this week. So Wow. He is, he is a giveaway machine, much like Wayne. Uh, I, I know that he's very, I'm, I'm not saying obviously he's just out for free stuff, but he's very proactive in sharing people's content, which is always fantastic. But, we, don't, we, don't need, we don't need to talk about Deacon. Oh, uh, We've already said this, Dave. We? We're starting our own campaign, Down With Deacon. <laughs> <laughs> hey. When you edit, you need to set the hashtag, Down With Deacon. That's oh, what's I was going to say, we should have all got t-shirts, right? We, should, we could have had t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, next time. It'd be a good, be a good seller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the great, the great thing about the great thing about Wayne is that I mean he gives me crap too, but I give him crap all the time, and he just takes it, just rolls with it. You yeah, know, he's, he let well, the comment. Oh, and you go on someone's video today. They were showing those uh, pocket pocket toilet ninjas. Oh yeah, and Wayne left the comment. 
I can't remember what he said, something about, I love those toilet ninjas or something. And I wrote a comment to Wayne, you're a toilet ninja, Wayne. <laughs> and uh, just the kind of stuff we do and he, he's um, with it, rolled with it, so. He's, we, we've, we've spoken about Wayne Kid in numerous times. He's an absolute gem. Uh, but you, you'll have yeah. seen the random packages he sends me that are now kind of getting to the level of filth where it's like the package arrives and you're like, oh, I, I, I as a matter of fact, he sent me uh, this child that's kind of sitting behind me and to get him back, I've recorded a video, but I refuse to read his letter on camera purely because <laughs> the first thing that I saw was a pair of boobs, a dick and jizz, like drawn. <laughs> so I ain't reading this because you know it's going to be full of smut. <laughs> so, wow. uh, so before we go too far dave just in case anyone hasn't come across the dungeon tell us a little bit about it tell us about yourself what got you into collecting that kind of stuff okay you want the two you want the two minute story or the 10 minute story or or should we should we really go deep i uh, want the story uh, that you want to share whatever it is yeah, whatever you wrong. see it take us on the journey okay. Well, let's see. I basically, uh, I got into Funko heavily, probably maybe only like two years ago. Um, and then I started watching some YouTube videos on it. A couple, a uh, couple content creators that are, are big time, you know, hundreds of thousands of subs and stuff like that. And um, it just happened a couple other times in my life. I see somebody doing something and I think I can... I could do that a little better, uh, or I could do that, and then and I, I go in that direction. Um, in, in Oregon, about 20, 22 years ago, I was working for minimum wage at a janitorial company, and I was looking at the situation, and I'm like, why am I the guy making, well, why, don't, why don't I be the guy that goes out and gets the contracts and mm -hmm. hires people? Why do I got to be this guy? So that's what I did. Uh, I started a janitorial company. Uh, ended badly. We won't talk about that. But um, same thing with this Funko Channel thing. I saw other people doing it. I was, you know, there's great stuff out there, but there's also some content where you're like, this guy has how many thousands? And, you know, it just doesn't seem to fit. And I thought, I can do better than that. I can do this. So I just went for it, you know? And my early videos, you can tell that I, you know, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I really didn't know what I was doing, uh, you know, for, four months ago, I guess, when I started doing this. So it's nice that I've come a little bit, improved what I'm doing a little bit. It's more of a, you kind of know what to expect when you, when you, when you see one of my videos, I kind of have a, yeah. a format that I kind of follow now. And I like that. I like how I'm incorporating the movies back in on my early videos. I was doing a lot of movie reviews and I was, they were long. I was talking five minutes on each movie and it just didn't work that way, but now I'm doing it quick. Boom, boom. People seem to like those. I mean, you get a lot of comments on the movies. So yeah. But I, I, I don't know, man. I just I jumped into it. It's been working out. I'm getting a little, you know, I'm getting steady growth. It's not exploding, but it's 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 enough that it Yeah. So the right trajectory. I don't get, I, yeah, I don't get discouraged. You know, I'm still excited about it and having fun. I know Lee kind of mentioned this already, but I do think a big part of that is you kind of ingraining yourself in that community kind of vibe that that you've totally embraced that kind of almost Funko online, YouTube, social media kind of aspect, which is, for, at least from my side of things, how it looks as though the channel's kind of blown up. And I've said it before, uh, there's a lot of really nice people out there. I said it in a video a couple of weeks ago or a week ago, but there's also a lot of our souls, right? And I, I don't know how you feel, Lee, but whenever I watch Dave's stuff, I always feel it feels very genuine. Uh, that you're yeah. very excited about what you collect. You, you can tell you're passionate about it. And similar to what you kind of touched on, Dave, there's a lot of people, when you look at numbers, if you get kind of bogged down in that YouTube numbers game, where you're like, hey, you've got 15,000 subscribers, but your content is a bit meh or a bit bland that you're like, really? Like, how have you got to this kind of point? And part of that could be that they got into the game quite early. It could be that they had that one video which totally blew up who knows right but i so say one of the things that i do love about yours is that show element so it's got a structure it's got a formula yeah. but it's not done in almost like i'm trying to explain it but almost you know how sometimes if it's a set show 
it becomes boring. It becomes, all right, it's the same again, it's the same again, it's the same again. But the episodes of Dave's Dungeon don't feel the same. Even though you might go out for a hunt and then you come back to the dungeon and you showcase stuff you bought and or you're in, you're opening packages, you're showcasing, here's retro toy, retro toy, retro toy. But it doesn't feel like, all right, you're just showing us some more stuff. And this is one of my gripes. And again, I'm sure I've spoke to Lee about it quite a lot. One of my gripes with YouTube content. I feel like I'm in a total funk with creating content at the moment. But part of it is that the wheel's already been invented, right? There's that kind of style of content. I know Fuzzy, and again, we're speaking about him quite a bit, but he's totally on the right track with one of his things and he'll probably be very excited that I've agreed with him. But sometimes content creation is a bit stale. So the YouTube content can feel a bit bland. And I say one of the things that I do love about your show and it's what draws me back is that you're the kind of like unique element of it and it's fun. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> hey man, get down. <laughs> you, can, you can keep going. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is where Lee doesn't oh, get yeah. to speak. This is where we have a guest and it's just a show of me. Essentially, let's stroke my ego, right? Um, but so from a... No, you're totally right. You're completely right because it's, it's, there's such an element now as well. I mean, again, I don't... I, Everyone does their own thing. And I think the thing is we're doing the YouTube in, we've all got our reasons why we do it, but how many boxes do we need to be slit open? How many times do we need to be told the packagings? It's it's good sometimes to get the feedback from the likes of Fuzzy, who, who will tell you what he thinks. And it's kind of whether you go with it, whether you want to do your own thing. I mean, we've all got our, our own little niches, our own little places. So it's kind of, it's nice in that respect. But like what Ali said with yours, Dave, yours, I honestly think I could just watch you you just you've, there's something about you as a person that I I find really engaging and really warm and just someone that you just come across as someone who's doing something they enjoy doing, and because you're enjoying it, I find that I'm enjoying it with yeah. you. So it's kind of it's it's it, it just works really well. It just I don't I don't know what you you've done to, but for me it's like Ali said I don't have notifications on for a lot of channels, but it's like Dave's Dungeons done a video right where where's the kettle get the kettle on I'm gonna go and watch Dave's Dungeons. And nine times out of ten now, it's like I put you on the telly and I sit and I chill out and I, I'm in the dungeon. And it's 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 just a great channel, mate. I don't want to, as we say in England, I don't want to kiss you up. Whatever you've done, it's working, mate, and I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Pucker up, well, Lee. Hey, hey thanks, thanks to both of you for those kind, those kind I don't of know words. If I lost Dave. <laughs> is he gone? Oh, no, I think you're going, Lee. I think you're vanishing. I think, is Lee gone for you, Dave? he's freezing yeah i say because you, you did say kiss your and i My knew back. that word was going to be arse right uh but oh you're back you're back yeah lee's been just freezing like every yeah i'm back sorry Five. sorry the internet went. stop downloading importantly oh is he gone again well yeah i mean um, I, hey i appreciate well, what you so, both so on. Um, oh come in lee have you gone I'm going to move rooms. Hang on. I'm going to move rooms. Okay. I'm going to move rooms. I'm going to move rooms. Okay. Oh, that means we lose your awesome background. Hey, is that a He-Man that 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 you've got on? I've just clocked that. Is that a He-Man? Yeah, this is He-Man, yeah. Let me go in here. Do you know, Turn while, you. while you're moving, I'm going to quickly show a couple of things uh, that arrived in the mail. Uh... Oh, Black Widow, nice. I don't know if you can see this one. Yeah, man. Yeah, Guardians. And Guardians. The, the black light spidey one. Uh, Wait, let's put this on. Hang on. You can uh, lose me again. I got, I got these from Toy, Toys of Us. They were doing like mystery pop T-shirts, uh, and they were like, oh man, they were like five I five pounds each. So I think for you, that's like is that seven dollars or something like that. Seven fifty. Yeah. So they they were like a, these were a fiver each. Lee. I don't know if you clock Toys of Us were doing. I did clock. I've got so many Funko Tees though. It was too risky for me to give it a go. To be honest with you. You see, so th this is where I'm a total chancer. I messaged them and was like, just so you know, I only do black T-shirts. <laughs> and they're like, no worries, we can do that. <laughs> nice. So even nice. though it's a mystery, I've specified a color. <laughs> I do not have a lot of Funko T-shirts. I have like five five or six so that's why I, you know, I got stuff like this that I get at five below or Walmart or whatever I mean as long as it's the right theme 
it works. I mean, my video yesterday, I had a ramen t-shirt on, so I guess it doesn't really matter as long as it's uh, something fun. But I do want more Funko shirts for sure. When, when are we going to get Dave's Dungeon merchandise? Well, probably um, a logo and some music and uh, some other things, and then maybe merchandise. Uh, I don't know. I'm, it's pretty bare bones right now. I mean, I, I, I know you speak to, or at least I think you do. You speak to Obi the Kid, right? Yeah. So he, he, he's, I've, I've, I chat to him quite often, like on Instagram. Uh, and he was sending me like his sticker samples that he's getting done. And now I'm kind of like, oh, I would quite like a sticker. I don't know what I would use it for. But I'm like, mm, I would quite like that. Oh, Maybe. yeah. I, I want a dungeon sticker from the side of my cabinet where I've got all my different stickers. I got to get on that. I'm just, uh, I don't know. It's just one of those hurdles I can't get over. Uh, not enough time, not enough, uh, I don't know. I just can't seem to get over those. I can't get, I want a nice graphic intro something with some action, some music. I just, uh, it's just one of those things on my list that is not, ever getting done but someday <laughs> what's the is that a wetmore forest uh little plushie that's appeared that's a spam can no 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 the the, the little guy to the left of oh yeah that's pickles. Or, or the right yeah that's pickles from wetmore forest you know i've, I've recently i don't know if you can see i've, I've got tumblebee kind of sitting behind uh oh, in, that's, in that's the sun cool. Uh, I've got the Spring Series Tumblebee. I, I ordered three uh, new Wetmore Forest after seeing uh, some stuff on your channel. Nice. Yeah, we we uh, we need Tumblebee, I think, still. The, but yeah, the, we like collecting those. What's that? The Spring one? The blue guy? Oh, not the Spring one. The original one. The yellow one we don't have yet. You got, uh, you you got the blue one? one? The spring one. It's the blue one that I've got. Oh, yeah, we don't have any of those yet. Oh. Yeah, those you need to cool. get on that. Not, not that you've not got anything else to collect. No, there's nothing else to buy, so I should go to that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. So no, normally we have a bit of a formula, similar to what we were just talking about for these shows, but we've not really kind of put any uh, such structure to it. It goes back to what Lee was saying about we kind of wing half of our stuff. Uh, but what I was really wanting to know, Dave, is See, because you've got so many different kind of lines of things. We can obviously see the huge kind of 10 inches behind you. You've got your Star Wars. You've got your figures. You had your like wrestling legends that you're pulling out in a few videos ago. You've got the different Funko lines. Is there something specific that is like your favorite thing that you collect? Or, or is it just collecting in general? Star Wars. Good man. Good man. Right answer. That's the right answer. That's number one. Um. This, uh, that's a pile of Star Wars I haven't opened yet. Oh. And a wee, was that an Oogie Boogie sitting down there too? That's <laughs> Not a wee one, it was a 10 inch. Box. Ah, okay. And then here's some stuff over here that we haven't seen yet. Hey, the Dubak, awesome. My big Yoda, the Dubak. I mean, there's movie moments, there's Luke's, I mean, I... There, there's Star Wars stuff everywhere, and, and the main collection is in a different room. I haven't showed that yet either. But Star Wars is number one. Okay. Then Marvel, Marvel would probably be number two. And then, you know, the ad icons and retro toys are kind of just this one big thing that I'm trying to keep up on and someday complete the ad icons, but that will yeah. probably never happen. But the retro toys... Um, I think we have five or six left that we need. And then we're hundred percent. We have them all. So until, that's just until, until the next wave comes, right? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know how that works, but uh, at least we will have, you know, one through 70 with all the exclusives and all that jazz too. So we're getting close. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, on that note, and I know you probably want to ask something, Lee, but see on the, the collecting, is is Kim, I know she comes on and opens like some stuff. Is she super into it as well? She uh, she puts up with it. <laughs> Phew! Do you know what I'm, I'm starting to think? Because like my, my wife puts up with it. It's probably the best way to put it as well. And I was like, oh, wow, how did you do that? Kim didn't used to go on hunts with me at all. Um, in fact, she'd usually, a lot of the time, just hang out in the car and play on her mm -hmm. phone. 
but now she's definitely more into it as far as like going into the stores and looking at stuff and she'll she'll pick stuff up and be like do we have this one you know stuff like that so because the, the chases the, the two dumb and dumber she, she found them. those yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so she's she's your chase hunter she is now for sure <laughs> oh oh there it is there just a we didn't even plan that and you have it to hand and I don't know where this is going yet. Uh, it might be uh, might be a giveaway item, or you know, I said if anybody really needs it or collects them, they can they can they can uh, get a hold of me. But yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, a couple months ago, probably just maybe two months ago, I would have bought this and been like, oh, this, this is part of my chase collection. You yeah, know? I'm not gonna have a damn chase collection. I'm not. I need to cut back. So. Hmm. The newer, smarter, a little more responsible Dave is like, I'm not keeping this, you know. I mean, grant that I still spent the money on it, and I'm probably not going to get any money for yeah. it. So it's still you. You went down the route that a lot of people do of it, almost classing it as like I think the term people coin is trade bait for it. Where if if you're trying to get that one ad icon you can't get, all of a sudden, hey, I've got a chase that would swap for it. Right. See, and I'm not. That's another thing I was going to say earlier when you guys were talking about you know, trying to be a little different. Mm. And I was going to say, you know, both of you are doing that. I mean, Lee, you've got the the top of the Funko Pops. That, I love that. And what you're doing here, Alistair, is unique. Mm. And um, I like that. And, you know, mystery boxes are great. And it's a great way to get to get rare things that you would never get otherwise. Look at Mr. Deacon. I said I wasn't going to bring him up again, but... Um, <laughs> He's got all these ridiculous pops that he would not have went out and bought. Yeah. You know, he's he's won them through the, the lottery of mystery boxes, and you know, that's that's fun and everything. But I'm I don't have enough money where I can go. You know, hundred dollars. I'm going to take a chance on getting something crazy. I need that hundred dollars to buy stuff I really want. As I hold up a Chandler Bing, I don't really want this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen friends on your show before. <laughs> yeah, like I, I bought this because someone requested it. And yeah. then I ended up buying another one for a giveaway. And then the person that requested it didn't need it anymore. So I actually oh. have two of these. Two of these. Hey, that's a nice complaint, I suppose, right? They'll, they'll go to a good home. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, like I was like I was saying, I mean, and I think that's one one thing that I'm not I'm not trying to be like other channels. I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying to follow any, I'm not trying to model myself after any existing channel. I'm just trying to do my thing, which is basically like, you know, based on my income level at the moment, I buy far too many toys. Uh, frankly, I'm irresponsible. Okay. And, um, you can come along on that irresponsible uh, journey with me and see what I what I what I get what I come across. You know, I'll go on hunts where I just want to see what's out there. I don't even have any cash left to get anything, but I want to see what's out there. And and uh, I'm I'm just kind of I'm I'm that guy. Like I said before, I don't I'm not ready for the next Funko Shop drop or the next Pop King Paul mystery box or I'm not into it like that. I'm just more. Oh, the new zombies are out. Cool. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find those. I'm not going to go on the site and see how all the different variations and I got to pre-order this one and this and that. And I'm not that dude. I'm just, I kind of go out, find what I can find and, and have a good time doing it. Yeah. So that's, I'll one. leave it right. at that. Were you about to say something before I, I was going to just. No, 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 no. I was just going to say that's, that's the element that I've in, in this lockdown thing that I've missed more than anything because I, same as what you said, Dave. I like knowing that something's out and I like just going and looking for it. I like to, I like the surprise of going into a shop and, okay, that's there. Yeah, that's what one I want. Whereas at the moment, it's just a case of going on a website, putting it in a basket. And it's, it's not, it's not the same. There's something, I like going to the shop, finding it and the chance that it's not going to be, it, it might sound stupid, but I'd, I'd rather go to a shop and look and hope something's there than just go on a website and have it pre-ordered for three months. It's, it's just not the, it's not the same. And I think that's why I watch quite a lot of hunt, hunt videos. I, I enjoy yours. Um, there's an American guy who I got into called Greg Cook. I don't know if you know him at all, Dave. Yep. Yep. But he comes across really well, just as, again, as another genuinely nice guy. He's someone who um, the Poptimist got me into, Ale. And he just goes on the toy hunts. And I, I quite like just sitting watching people going on toy hunts. And my, yeah. my missus will come in sometimes and say, what are you, what? I don't get, but 
I think because we've not been able to do it for so long and the shops where I live are so, the few that do sell Funkos, they're so bad, Dave. Honestly, I can't. It's, I'm still getting shops with Wonder Woman, not the new film, but the old yeah. film. They're the pops they've got on the shelves and it's like, oh, it's just... Steve, it's, whatever Steve's last name is, Steve's everywhere. In my, in, oh, in my, Steve and like, his... I, I live in the sticks, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm oh, in a... Steve, city. Steve Trevor. That's Steve and Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, where, where I live, like, you're at least in a, a large city, right? Well, you, I mean, Leicester's big, yeah. I mean, this, like, there's a lot of supermarkets and stuff. You, but you, you want you want to see see where I live? Like, <laughs> there, there's there's nothing. If I if I want to go to any like major retailer, I'm I'm essentially stuck with one toy shop and supermarkets. And yeah. That is that is my well, I tell a lie. Sorry, HMV were in my head good pops go to die because they're always trashed and they're double priced. Yeah. But other than that, I, I have literally the online kind of environment, and that's why. I think sometimes, again, I love that kind of hunt aspect. Now, the one that I like to watch, and I think, again, you will probably watch them too, Dave, is Sleeping Collectibles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, his kind of fireside chats. He takes you on his hunts. And now, I, like, yeah, I don't John. collect a lot of the things, I, I, and I never will. However, I can easily kick back and watch hours yeah. of that kind of right. content. The same with uh, Pokemon cards. And I know I've passed commenting a lot on your videos about Pokemon cards. Like, I'm sitting here with, like, this sitting, and it's been sat beside me for a seal it's been sat beside me now for two months and it was something that at one point i was like Do you know what as a kid i was daft for them i'm going to start going down that route and this is where my irresponsible side finally got a kick in the ass i just said Do you know what i'm not going to sink cash into it i'm going to stick with funkos and i say watching other people go on that kind of i know you kind of call it a mall hunt but that shopping kind of spree even if they get nothing I'm like looking at box lunch on the shelves and Walmart and all this oh, kind of stuff. And it's pure, open, part of it's pure envy. The Target exclusives, when I just see like stuff that is really hard to get over here, like the office pops. And it's like, you just walk, see people walk into a Target and they're just scattered there. And it's just, yeah. we'll never have that. We'll never have, we'll probably in about 20 years, <laughs> we'll be there yeah. on a Zimmer frame. It's just like, oh, they finally got the Star Wars Force Awakens pops in. <laughs> it's like, However, it's covered in paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. So see, see, because you're you're kind of showing off some stuff, Dave. I'm going to show you something I picked up, and I, and it follows on nicely. I got this guy quite recently. You probably got him since. That guy? <laughs> <laughs> Snap! <laughs> I think Scarborough Couple had it quite recently on their channel as well. So, they just they just yeah. got it too, yeah. So do, do you want to show too. us your Pokemon, Lee? I know you're a big fan. Uh, I, I've never watched Pokemon in my life. <laughs> I see the pops and I can appreciate them, but I, the, yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing no, I know I do have it here. Uh, new concept oh. series. These are pretty cool. I seen it. I think it, it must have been you that was on the hunt where you picked up that. I'm sure I commented that it was good to see them in the stores because I've got one of those. I've only got the Vader, but I'm quite interested by the droids, uh, the R2 and the C3PO. And yeah. Yoda, well, yeah, I mean Yoda, just Yoda's my boy. So <laughs> I'll probably end up. What have we got on the back? Oh yeah, Yoda's in that in that wave. See, isn't a massive Vader. difference on that Vader? The Vader from that wave compared to the first wave. That's something I'll be interested to see when you. I'd love to see a comparison. You were, talk, you were talking about the first wave Vader is the one you yeah. got. Yeah. What's it? Okay, yeah, yeah. These, these just up. came out. But what's the these major difference on the second wave? That's what I'm trying to say. I don't. I can see it. I think I think I think this one is the best Invader, where he's in that action pose. Right, but that okay. doesn't make any sense because it's concept art. So whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But Yoda looks like an old woman, <laughs> right there. I, I would love to get into that line, but I don't know. See, because as you say, it is that kind of concept phase. I don't know. They just don't really scratch the itch for me. The, yeah, it's the, well, the droids. I'll, dip in. Totally I'll get... dip in on that ones. I think I'm not going to get them all, but I'll dip in because. I mean, I'm doing. You know, Ali, from when we talk. But I'm quite into the. I, I get the. Just bear with me. I'll show you what the day. <laughs> this is why our, our like I was saying to David, you probably need a good hour for this. I can't <laughs> well. um, I don't know if you've ever seen the, the art of books. So I'm really into. I've got like 20 different books from Marvel and Star Wars. So I like concept art and stuff like that. And that's why these ones kind of grab me that little bit. But by the same account, I think they. If they're going to go overkill, if you get like six star faders or something like that, it kind of like it will kill it a little bit. So I'm curious to see where they go with it. 
You see, I, yeah. I would just buy crazy looking droids. I, I would be all over that. See, see if yeah. they, and, and see if they never even existed in the Star Wars galaxy, and they put a Star Wars box on it. I'd probably still buy it. But the, yeah, me, Vader, I, now I've not seen it in person, but I always thought the picture made him look like he had a duck bill. The kind of way that the, the helmet kind of comes out. I don't know what it is. And it, do you ever get that kind of like, you see something and you can never forget about it. That is, it whenever you look at it, it'll always be like that. And to yeah. me, I don't know, is it the way it sweeps down? I just think it looks like a giant beak. And I'm like, it's not Duck Vader. And like, I, I don't know. I, Vader. I, 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 can't, I can't do it. I, the Chewbacca one looks like nightmare fuel to me. Yeah, I don't know. I love that one. Chewie. The Pokemon stuff. He's weird. The well, it's it's like I said with the stupid pink ones. Okay, we're gonna get this going again. Um, this could be any color. It could be any. It could be a human, a droid. It could be a rock, just a rock in there. And if it has a number on here and it's <laughs> Star Wars, I'm buying it. Yeah. <laughs> Period. So, so you're why Funko makes billions, right? <laughs> yeah. You're, like, you're the I was saying about, like I was saying about uh, episode seven and episode eight, they put out so many pops. Oh, so many pops. But you know, I'm 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 one of those completists. You know, it's it's something up in here that's broken, and I have to have all of them. I never will, but I'm going to keep trying. Yeah. I think my wife would probably divorce me if I went down that route. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll find a hammock kind of slung up behind me out in here in the shed uh, and yeah. I'll permanently be curled in a ball in the corner me and my dog uh, but yeah I, I would love to go down that route and then again uh, speaking to Lee a lot I've, I've been going down the X-Men route recently and obviously uh, I've, I've actually gotten in here in a stack courtesy of Dave himself uh, yeah, there you go. I, I've even gone down the route now of I'm only going to get one of each. I'm not going to get the three Wolverines. I'm going to pick the yeah. Wolverine I like and I'm going to get Wolverine. I'm going to get there's the Mystique and then there's the Metallic version. I'm only going to have one. Uh, and it's purely part of it. Like, realistically, I'm in a shed. If I bring my Funkos into the house, I'm, I'm sure I've said it before on a show, I'll find them either sitting at the back door or my kids will be using them to climb onto things. <laughs> so for me, all my collection has to fit into what is ultimately quite a small space. So yeah. going back to what Dave was touching on a bit, being that smart collector in a way of i can't now just buy anything and everything and order six thousand mystery boxes is that i'm now starting to shop smart and you probably might well you might not have but i've, I've kind of stopped doing mystery boxes quite as much yeah and part of it I is know. if that mystery box is 15 quid i would much rather go and buy well this isn't 15 quid but buy another pop that i actually want in my collection yeah. than gamble on getting that 22 pound one that wayne's probably pulled and then you'll say he never gets a good hit. <laughs> exactly. Hey, so the green box around your photo. Yep. What is that? Is that the audio indicator? Yes. Or... So the, I, when I upload this, I mask that. I put like an overlay. So it hides all of that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. So that, that green uh, border, yeah, is basically trying to highlight which person's currently talking or in my case, when my dog's barking in the background. Does it, does it allow um, two people to be talking at once or does it mute one and... No, no, and Lee's victim to this a lot. Uh, it'll happily let me talk over anyone. Yeah, <laughs> Ali always takes the lead, Dave. So you'll find when he edits this that we, we'll occasionally, you'll see our lips moving, but not a lot else is happening. We just hear this mad Scotsman just rambling on. It's kind of, that's why it's on his channel. It's like, I, I can't put this stuff on. I'm not having this on my channel. <laughs> Do you know, Dave? I, I, I'm actually looking for a new co-host, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you fancy getting up at four o'clock every time for a show, because I used to have this guy from Leicester that came along, but he's a bit of an arse. So... <laughs> <laughs> and this is why it's it's called pop in for a chat, right? Because really, we don't talk that much about Funkos. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot yet. No. So there. because I, I'm on a slightly tighter time schedule than normal, anything you want to kind of bring up just now, Lee? Anything you want to? Um, uh, no, I mean, the, the, the big thing I'm always interested in with anyone who starts a channel is, do you ever find now that you're buying more because you've got a channel and you feel you've got to showcase something? Or is this just, we're getting more of an insight into this is what you do, this is what you did before the channel? Or do, do you get what I'm saying? It's kind of like, are you... Oh, I, I, totally, I totally 
I totally get what you're saying. And it's, I'm definitely more of the second one. Um, you know, kind of like I said, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of bringing, bringing people along to what I'm, what I ordinarily would do. Um, you know, like most of the legends figures, like I said before, this is probably maybe an eighth of my collection. And Uh most of the, most of those legends I, I bought before YouTube, you know? So it's like, uh, I've been heavily buying toys for a while. I've been heavily buying something my entire life, which again goes up to here. Um, before I got back into toys, I was the DVD guy for mm. 20 years or 15 to 20 years. Um, I probably have in the neighborhood of seven to 8,000 DVDs. Oh, wow. So uh, what I was trying to do is like assemble like a, a library that yeah. would be um in its own mass it would be no, i'm trying to find the, the right words for it um it wasn't i never treated my dvds like just you know sitting there getting dusty they were a library to me I, yeah, they were yeah. they were alphabetical they were chronological they were in categories i cleaned them i watched five six movies a day for probably a decade um and i kept a log on it ratings and just lost myself in films yeah. and then basically Marvel Legends and Funko combined with what has happened to the movie industry, you have to throw that in, mm. push me in this direction. I mean, just like right now, if you want to watch a new film, you got to subscribe to six or seven different services to yeah. get streamed to you. And you can't even go out and buy the physical thing if you want to. There isn't one. I mean, you can't go buy a Mandalorian on DVD. There is not, yeah. not one. And that's just bizarre to me being how heavy I've been into that for, for a long time. But yeah, I mean, it used to be for a while when I started getting into Funko is it was like, you know, 80% movies, maybe 20% toys. And then it just slowly flopped. Mm-hmm. And now it's about 98% of my money goes to toys. And maybe I pick up a couple of films mm-hmm. here and there, but yeah. I do, I do love films. That's a, something I'm really into. Um, but like, you know, like I said, I've been collecting, go back to the mid 1980s and i've been collecting something ever since so right now it's i get that i get that completely i'm the same when it comes to films my wife thinks i'm mental sometimes that i still like buying dvds and blu-rays because i like having the physical i like having that physical copy i think a good a good way of kind of segueing it is uh, people who are into vinyl and stuff like that. Yes, yeah, so I used to buy a, a lot of. It wasn't vinyl actually; it was, it was more CDs, and it was for the yeah. art book and stuff that came in it. Probably similar yeah. to your touch on your books. I, I was that guy every Saturday in different record shops. Obviously, not buying records, but buying vinyl, uh, buying CDs, and I would come home with like eight new albums on a Saturday, and yeah, that would be me for a week, and then I'd go back spend my money that I've made on my paper round, all that kind of stuff on more CDs. Uh, until I met my wife and then she was like why do we have 6,000 CDs and what I discovered over time is they slowly filtered out the house (laughs) why to to do that (laughs) well technology has just technology has um, eliminated the need I mean I remember when 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 iTunes first came out and you would copy your you would burn your CDs into your into your computer and have them on your iTunes so you could put them on your ipod yeah and it was cool because you had you had your own library on your ipod and you could add to it digitally or you could buy a cd and burn that thing in there um and and now that's quaint it's not even necessary anymore uh Mm -hmm. there's no reason to have a lot an itunes library you just subscribe to spotify or go to youtube or pandora and you listen to any damn thing you want any time of day it's crazy compared to how it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And then you go back to the 1970s with eight tracks and it just keeps changing and keeps changing. And now it's happened to films. Now yeah. it's streaming. Everything is streamed. So yeah. you used to be quite heavy into your steel books, Lee, right? Yeah. That, I used to collect Blu-ray steel books until oh, yeah. that, that just got out of hand. They were just in a cupboard and it's like, they, they were nice, but then I was, I was so touchy about touching them or, even sometimes we'd watch the film and it's like, it's in the cupboard, but I'd say, no, no, no leave, leave the steel books in the cupboard. Let's, let's just watch it on TV. Or, and it's like, yeah, what am I yeah. doing? What am I doing? It's like, 
I had to cut it down and say, steel, but... one collection, what am I doing? What am I doing? So I, the Funkos, I, I love Funkos. I think they're fantastic. I think I always will. My wife always says to me, when you get old, I'm going to stick you in an OAP home. She goes, with all your little toys sitting around, she goes, you'll be happy as Larry. You won't need any of us. And it's like, I think you're probably right, to be fair. Be I, th- I thought you were going to say that she was going to sell your Funkos to pay for the nursing home for you. Uh, <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's why she doesn't mind some of them staying in box now. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the steelbook side of things, I have never bought one, if I'm completely honest. However, Lee put me on to a, a, another collector, Warren, and he always shares like the, the artwork. And see, every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I, I want that. Like, yeah, I so, so want that. And I don't know, is it the just that kind of sheen that comes off it and uh yeah they, they always they, are, they so are fantastic marvel ones and stuff that i see and i'm always like oh that looks beautiful like that's that's a piece of artwork it's not just a box right oh Groot, timber Groot just, Groot just fell hopefully he survived that, that's where because i tend to keep most of my stuff in box i die a little where i'm like oh it's falling <laughs> it's falling <laughs> i just I, w- I wanted to grab this as an example this is a um this is like yeah. a Blu-ray set. It's a, you know, it's a little, it's a little book. Yeah, you know? it's an experience. Yeah. It's not just the film; it's an experience. Yeah, and then you got the book in the back here, and I mean, or you can stream it, and you never see anything, just the film. Yeah. I mean, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. Yeah. But it's sad that like those collections you were talking about, the CD collections, the movie, the DVD collections. After a while, you know, if it's not taken care of and it piles up in a corner, it just becomes so much junk. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, that's, that's sad, you know, mm-hmm. but it's, it's what happens. This is embarrassing. Thanks. Thanks, Funko, for making me buy that. <laughs> Polly Pocket. <laughs> I, I, th- I think both me and Lee were like, oh, my daughter would love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keeping my wife on that one. <laughs> it's only just- one. Just wait till oh. they release all their friends as well. I know I know my daughter's mad for there's like a scientist one that she almost wants a scientist. Oh, don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. This is where I start grabbing off, off my shelf all my, my random I've got I could be here for days taking all these guys down. Don't do this to me, man. Hide that, hide that, because that's when my bank balance sobs. Oh, don't. I think we've lost Dave. Show whole, I'll show you the whole case. Oh, you, you, you got like eight of them or something, right? <laughs> seven. Uh, I don't so know yeah, why. There were seven left, so we got to seven. When Lee was talking about the Back to the Future stuff that you panned over, originally you went over like some of the anime stuff, and I'm like, slow down, Dave. Slow down. Don't, don't keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I've been chatting to Fuzzy quite a lot about that as well, because he's always on the edge of, I want to buy some anime pops, but... I, I can't. They're going to ruin hunting for Dave. Dave's going to, next time he goes to the shop, he's going to be walking around. He's going to be thinking, oh, let's slow down here because Leo will be moaning at me. Let's slow down here. Ali's going to be, oh, yeah. fuzzy wants to those, be. those British bastards aren't letting me yeah. enjoy. <laughs> he kind of shut the shop and he'd be like, no, no, I'm still filming. He's got like eight hours of unedited footage. <laughs> yeah, make sure you pack some lunch for Kim for next time you're going hunting because yeah. she's going to be there a while. Right. Right. <laughs> get, everybody, get everybody's sections taken care of, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, you'll no longer it won't it won't be the same experience Igno- ignore us that are trying to backseat drive you around a store yeah. hey i love that man i love that <laughs> see how you mentioned that you, you're not into like i'm gonna keep an eye on the next drop all that kind of stuff obviously we we in the uk and europe have been experiencing the fallout of funko failing with the Emerald City Comic Con releases. I don't know if you've seen much of that kind of stuff, which is kind of blown up uh, in, yeah. at least in the community that I follow. D- d- did you grab any of that kind of stuff? Like, would you be the person that's like, hey, I need to get that Grimlock? Or, I mean, yeah, basically, uh, you know, uh, I look at a few videos where people go through everything and say, hey, this is everything that's coming out, and yeah. uh, I'll make I'll make mental notes. Oh, I want that Grimlock. I mean, anything, anything that's in my lines, if it's a Star Wars, if it's a retro toy, if it's an ad icon, and it's a, and it's a pop, mm. I, I want it, you know, okay. basically. Um, but there are ones that, that I'm going to want to get right away that, you know, like that Grimlock, for example, mm. I want to get my hands on a Grimlock, I want to get my hands on a, a zombie uh, Morbius, the two GameStop ones, and I love some of those diamond Pokemon. 
Um, oh, but no. yeah, like I, I went to a hot topic on the morning of the release and it was like me and 10 other nerds in a line waiting to go get our chance to buy these, yeah. these hot topic pop. I don't like that experience. Mm. I just, there was multiple conversations going on that I couldn't get away from that I didn't want to be a part of. And, uh, I'd rather, I don't like, I don't like waiting in lines for anything. I don't like, I don't like going to a restaurant and being told sit in this room full of crowded people would get you a table in an hour. Yeah. No, I'm going somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the whole waiting the, the in line thing I would line for that, is, the, but... is the cinema. I would, the only thing I would line up for is if there's a film coming out, I'm, I'm the guy that goes to see Star Wars at midnight. So I, I would wait in a line for two hours for that side of things. But other than that, I, I totally get that, where you're coming from. That's different. I understand that completely. But yeah, I mean, I'm just saying like the Hot Topic thing, I didn't want any of those Hot Topic exclusives mm-hmm. anyway. I'm thankful I because uh, I was I was burning my hot cash that day. Yeah. And you couldn't you couldn't use them on uh, convention pops. Ah, but okay. there weren't any that I wanted anyway. So that kind of worked out. But I am getting I am getting one of the sodas because Buzzy Dunlop won uh was Ingram, is that his name? Scott Ingram. Oh from uh, oh. oh god, what's the film called? Scott Pilgrim um, versus Scott the world. Scott whatever. Pilgrim. Yeah. Scott yeah. Pilgrim. See see I'm on that Scott, Scott Pilgrim thing. I, I don't know, did it pass me by? Oh, you didn't uh, see it? You never, like, you never I, seen I, it? I've, I've seen oh. it. I, I remember seeing the film. But I'm, I, I, I don't know if maybe this is a Funko thing, but sometimes there's lines that come out and I'm like, why? Like, how come I'm not into oh, this? totally. And, and I think totally. Scott Pilgrim for me is, I'm, I'm like, why is there so many like conventions? Hey, there's a new Scott Pilgrim thing. And I'm like, is Scott Pilgrim better than I've given it credit for? I don't know. I mean, they're getting worse with that. Anyway, it's like, have you seen the new Kong versus Godzilla line? It's like, yeah. what? there's so many. And it's like, how bad is that metallic comic, right? Godzilla, right? Or is it just me? the flock Kong as well? It's like, I, it's that will do for me. Just give, yeah. give us a couple of two of each. You don't need like seven Kongs. Yeah. And here, here's Kong or, holding a slightly different weapon, or here yeah. he is with his arm scratching his arse. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 I mean, the, 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 and I, again, oh. would, I would be I would be the guy down at the the rental shop buying the ones that they're they're done with for like two quid. But I, I had a huge Godzilla collection as a kid. I don't know. Do you remember when they re released all that kind of stuff? Uh, oh, nice. So yeah, I, I had the, the videos and and they all made a giant picture and so on and so forth. So I was really excited when I saw, hey, this is coming out. But I, I really like Mecha Godzilla, and the pop looks like I made it. Yeah, it it looks like a knockoff. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that the the imagery of it doesn't do it justice. But I'm yeah, really disappointed because I was so excited. Like my plan, if I'm honest, was that this would be populated with even if the film's crap, this shelving unit behind me would have them all out. I'm I'm the guy that's I've pre-ordered a lot of them from for us yeah, from yeah. Smith's Toys, uh, and. And I'm excited by like the kind of slight color variation. I think it's neon lights they've called them. The the kind of yeah. other range. Right. Yeah. I was really excited about this, but I, I totally get where he's coming from. The we've now got Kong doing this. We've got Kong doing that. We've got Kong doing. And I suppose that's that's. I feel I rant about it a lot, but that probably sums up Funko, right? Is let's release the same thing doing forty different things. You mentioned it with Vader. If there's six different Vader concepts, do we need it? No. Uh, no. It's, yeah, totally however, totally you've got Dave at the home. bottom sitting here buying anything at Star Wars. <laughs> they overdo it. They definitely overdo it sometimes. Um, uh, yeah, I mean that's just Funko in general. They're gonna they're gonna throw a whole bunch of stuff yeah. at the wall and see what sticks. If it sticks, they'll make turn it. They'll make tw- twice as much of it six months from now. You see, yeah. this tells me with like My Hero Academia. I've got into collecting late. I've got into the the franchise My Hero Academia late. So there's convention pops, and it, it looks as though like now, now every convention there's a new MHA pop that comes with it. So like for talking, like, I'm too. desperate. It probably means nothing to you, Lee, but I, I don't know. Do you watch My Hero Academia, Dave? I I haven't watched a single okay. episode yet. So the, the, there's a villain called Dabby, which was a convention pop. I want to say right. two years ago. 
absolutely fantastic 500, 500 bucks and, and realistically that is not obtainable for me and that pains me so like I've, I've got things like hero killer stain that i know quite a few people like which again he's probably 20 30 quid uh, from that side of things i've got mr compress again which is one of the popular convention ones but this kind of things and the new ecc one that's come out which at the moment seems as though it's gone for me because i'm not going to spend 90 quid on it i'm not going to spend 130 quid on it and yeah, it's already and, 150 bucks yeah and and i say that this kills me uh and as i say i don't know the scott pilgrim thing that I kind of brought up i don't know maybe maybe it's just it's not for me and i suppose that's again the beauty of collecting right that i watched jimmy barnes i uh, unbox the i'm gonna get it wrong but the wrestling marvel i don't the oh the luchadors that's it the luchadors, luchadors uh, yeah and they're not for me but what i do quite enjoy is someone else's enjoyment of collecting that mm -hmm. kind of stuff but yeah. I, I don't know what is obviously I've totally gone off on a tangent from you talking about the Scott Pilgrim soda, but yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe someone that watches this will come back and say, Hey, Scott Pilgrim's the best thing in the world. I've bought the backpack and the lunchbox and all that kind of stuff. But are you expecting people to watch this, Ali? Yeah, I reckon at least uh, Dave will. Watch you it. And Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, I reckon Fuzzy will watch it because I think he's going to be. Oh, uh, and he's messaged me, I think, six times so far to say, when is the next episode coming? Uh, so I, I think we've got at least three people that will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough for me. Now, I'm, I'm probably getting a bit tight on time, guys. I've got about 10 minutes max before I'm going to have to bail. Uh, so anything that you guys want to chat about? Because I feel like I've spoken a lot. <laughs> you hey, well, well, real, real quick. You guys yeah. are both Godzilla. You guys are both Godzilla fans, right? I am. Uh, uh, have you ever I'm seen, sure, yeah. ever seen this? No. no you have to you have to watch this it's a japanese it's in japanese oh, um, amazing so is it is subtitled shin it's called shin godzilla and it came out like four or five years ago and it's it's impressive it's cool okay. it's, it's not it's not as uh it's not as big budget as the ones yeah. you know in the last couple of years and not like that and it's not as low budget as all the older ones it's somewhere in the middle there you see, I, I love the, the the like pretty much no budget old monster movies. Oh, those are like, those are hilarious, man. Those the, are hilarious. Know, the kind of thing on like a Saturday afternoon when I was younger, before kids, essentially, that I would have spent my afternoon lying on the couch watching that kind of stuff. That I would have <laughs> eaten that up. Uh, so Shin Godzilla, did you say it was called? Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder if I can stream it anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's not what he wants you to do. <laughs> <laughs> Available on Blu-ray, mate. We'll find that between us, I'm sure. But what am I going to play on? I don't have a Blu-ray player. It's a black yeah. blue black Blu-ray case. That's pretty cool. I'm I'm the monster now that actually doesn't have a device that could play that. Like I said, oh. times are changing. Yeah, times are changing. No, no. no? Okay. But actually, I tell you, I could watch it on my PC. I could watch it on my PC. There you go. Oh, he's showing us more. Is that a diamond one? Sorry. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the silly diamond uh, bag of donuts. You see, I, I don't want the top. I just want the donuts. My, this is where my stomach <laughs> takes over. See, I like these pots. The ad icons, I know I had the fantastic plastics on, well, I'm saying yesterday, but obviously when yeah, this goes out, it'll be different. Probably about three weeks ago. Those, <laughs> those, those pops, they, I really like them. I, I think because they're different completely, but they're... They've got their own little niche to them. They're, they're a line I could fall into so easily. The, the Addo icons, especially, I think I really like some of the ones that they've done. Um, that one you've got there in front of you now, Dave, I, I think that's really, really cool. <laughs> As I'm sitting there now, I'm thinking, I wouldn't mind. That'd be a good one to add, but I'm not going to get into them because I promised I wouldn't. Yeah. It's a, it's a slippery slope, right? Instead, yeah. do what I do and live through Dave. Let, let yeah, Dave oh, spend all his money buying all the awesome stuff and just rewatch his video whenever you get that itch, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Same, I, I wanted exactly. the G.I. Joe uh, pops, purely going back to childhood, and I, I opted for Transformers is, is the route I went down instead. But <laughs> almost <laughs> in the that, so instead I can live through Dave on those ones. I don't know. Yeah, th this well. is a game where I go off on a tangent. Well, did they ever make Mask? Does it, do you guys remember Mask? Yeah, not Jim Carrey with the green face. But I, don't, the... I don't think they've done that yet. Oh, no. I don't think so. I, they, haven't all over that. they haven't done Ace Ventura yet either, have they? No, they no, did. not not the Jim Carrey one. Not the green face guy. Do you remember? Do, do you guys not remember the, the cartoon? I'm sure it's called. I remember Matt. Yeah. Maybe maybe the in the states. 
Well, the cartoon mask is based on the Jim Carrey movie, right? No. No, 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 no. This is going way back, Dave. This is 80s stuff, right? Yeah, this yeah. Is, they're kind of... Oh, you're remember. talking a really old, really old yeah, cartoon. Yeah. Man, yeah. okay. Uh, I know they haven't... They I'm haven't done like that. a Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura, climbing out of Rhino's bottom. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's... A, I would you call it a pop ride? A movie moment? I was going to say a pop ride. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I would buy Rhino that. and just his head coming out. <laughs> I'll swear I, won't, I won't say what the chase would be. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, don't, don't. Oh, you see, now, again, th this is where I lose. I don't remember Candyland. No, I don't. I've got no recollection. Is of Candyland that. an American thing? I guess. It's a board game. But oh. the funny thing about it is all these characters, I don't know where they came from because I don't know them. The only thing I mean, that's I like the, the McDonald's line, right? I don't remember, other than the hamburger, and I want to see the big purple guy. The other little McDonald's, no, no, come on. all the nuggets, the yeah. I think there's fry, fry guys, something like that. Uh, yeah, I remember the purple guy, Ham Ronald, hamburger, grimace, and I think there was a girl. Uh, the, the other things again, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a, is it a UK thing. Do we not, do we not have them? We didn't or? get them. Or did my, did, was I just deprived and wasn't taken to McDonald's enough as a kid? <laughs> I think no, a I lot, a lot of them, a lot of them were on commercials. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's yeah. What I remember. I watched someone, and this is where I'm really bad. I don't remember who it was. Someone showcased Captain something that that was in one commercial for a fish burger or something uh, from McDonald's, oh. and Cap is it Captain Crook or something like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and someone was like, "Oh, I found the commercial he was on, and he gets like six seconds of screen time, but they've made a pop out of him." A but, convention uh, pop. He's a convention pop. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. At, at icons number ninety nine. Wow. How how do you remember the order they come in? I don't know. I just assign a number to it in my head. And... Can, can 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 I test this knowledge? Sure. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to see if I've got a Star Wars pop near me on my desk. Oh, boy. I do, I do. Right. That's a lot. Those, that's a lot of... I'm just going to say yeah. one pop, right? That's and we're going to see, one. and it's purely... It's, it's, I don't have many Star Wars at this side. Uh, it's not Mandalorian. Uh, it's Rogue One. Do you want the number or the name? And you can tell me if you know what it is. Uh, give me the name, and I'll tell you the number. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go for... This is one that you sent me, Lee, actually. Uh, let's go okay. from Baze Malbus. He's either one, 140 or 141. 141. Have you got that right? That's amazing. Yeah. Let, let, let me, wow. just to prove that he's got this right. I, 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 this, is, this is a game show in itself. This is, I was going to say, Dave, we've life. got a new niche for YouTube. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so before we, we kind of wrap things up, Dave, anything else you want to talk about? Anything you want to highlight? Do you want to promote your channel? Um, I, no need to promote my channel. I mean, you guys have already done that. If, if anybody is still here uh, and they don't know who I am yet or uh, how to find me, what's the point of saying it right now? So yeah, perfect. You know. I like that. Yeah. I like that. But I've had I've had a great time. I've had a great time doing this. And, uh, I appreciate it, you guys. Um, I don't know. It was, just, it was a good time, man. I had a blast. Thank you so much oh, for for getting up early yeah, for great. us as well. Every day is like that, so no big deal. Sorry, Lee, I spoke over you yet again. Oh, no, it's standard. It's standard. No, no, I'd say it's been brilliant to talk to you, Dave. Honestly, I've, I've been looking forward to this. I'm really glad we made it happen. So I'm, re I'm really pleased. Really pleased it's happened, mate. So thank you for doing it. If you're still here, please, 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 Dave's, description, great, uh, Dave's channel will be in the description. Sub to Dave. You will not regret it. I love the guy to bits. Um, it's been a pleasure, Dave. Thank you ever so much for doing this. And... As, we, as you're putting this out now, Ali, what is it now? Mid-September? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not that slow. <laughs> and, um, we should, hopefully we should see you all in episode four at some point in the future. Yeah. I say, again, thank you so much, David. Yeah, really, thank really you. Enjoyed this. I, the, the reason this episode's not as long as it probably should be is purely because of me. So fingers crossed, guys, we'll, we'll get Dave back on to talk about even more uh, collecting habits and, and so on and so forth. Give us another peek into Aladdin's cave that he's got behind him. Oh, definitely. <laughs>
And at some point, Dave, I'm going to be hitting you up for another Top of the Funko Pops at some point. You've got so much Pops, I, I need you back on because your episode is still the top viewed episode. So you're definitely coming back. For sure. For sure. I can't, I can't wait to do that again, too. So I, I when, can't wait whenever, to man, just, just let me know. I'll definitely be in contact, mate, on that one. Definitely. Please, please do another cool. rant, Dave. Please do another rant. That was... <laughs> if I'm honest, I've watched the rant part three times. The absolute like it's just one of those things that just total tickled me. It was brilliant. Uh, so yeah, you, you've Thank got you. a, you've got a difficult act to follow of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, fingers crossed you've enjoyed us or me talking a lot to Dave and Lee. And we'll see you for episode four soon, guys. Bye. Okay.